We were putting together music for this recording, and the toughest thing is, is always figuring out just what songs you want to use. And uh, we've had a lot of people come up and request different, you know, favorite hymns and things. And so I said, well, let's, let's be sure we pick a, an old hymn that everybody knows, but that nobody really gets to hear much of anymore. Because a lot of the, the great old songs aren't being sung much uh, in churches nowadays. And, and, and the churches have moved on and, done some, and are doing some beautiful music now, and I, I, love, I love that stuff. But I still miss some of the songs that I grew up on. And as we began to work on this particular song, it kind of took me back to when I got started in, this, in, in gospel music work, which was uh, 25 years ago this last May. And uh, I was three at the time. Um, what are you laughing at? It's okay to lie now. Don't you read the newspaper? Come on. Oh, right. boy. No, actually, actually, I was a high school senior when I started in gospel music, uh, 1974. And, you know, things I think we'll agree are a little different for our high school kids in 1999, 2000 than they were when I graduated in 74. Uh, certainly, the, the things the pastor was talking about here in, in your local school district, the different kinds of agendas that seem to be finding their way into schools. And when I was in school, I know, yeah, you'd have the odd fist fight and break out or something, you know, and people push and shove, and, you know, never, never anybody ever really got hurt. But we never even considered the possibility that someone would bring a gun to school and just start shooting their classmates. And I understand now the statistic is that there are more metal detectors in schools today than there are in airports around the country, which is a strange and terrible statistic. And we could get very, very concerned and upset about all these things, and we should be concerned. We should be part of our community. We should be working on those things. But I'll tell you what, folks, as Christians, we've got something that the rest of the world doesn't have. Because no matter what happens, we've got a rock of ages that's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Listen to the title song of that newest CD, that great old hymn. Rock of Ages. i 